Hi again, everyone. Today, we're going to share some little shows we made with our puppets. And afterwards, you can make your own shows at home. We experimented with sounds and music this week. You might even like to write a story and read it out while you do your show. Let's have a look. And welcome to an episode of Outback Runaway. I'm your host, Mr. Fishy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just here to make sure that everything goes swimmingly. I hope everyone here is having a great night tonight. Who's ready to see our contestants? Me, me. Well, give a warm welcome to our first contestant, Daisy. Are you ready to show us a trick, Daisy? Whoa, that was pretty good. That was a great start by Daisy. And now give a warm welcome to Mrs. Cat. Show us your best move, Mrs. Cat. Meow. Whoa, that was a pretty big leap. Our contestants are really showing their A game today. Thank you, Mrs. Cat. And now let's introduce Mr. Big Shark. <laughs> Show us your best move, Great White. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was pretty quick. You've got a lot of speed there, Mr. Great White. Thanks for showing us all that. Now, let's introduce our next contestant, Snakey. Look at all these awesome moves that Snakey's doing. This is incredible stuff, Snakey. Now it's my turn to shine. Well, unfortunately, that's all we have time for today. Aww. Hope to see everyone soon. Goodbye, everyone. Aww. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Outback Runway, and we hope to see you all again soon. In a faraway land, so far that people couldn't find it, there was a little kingdom, and in that little kingdom, there was a princess. The princess was well loved by her people, for she was kind, and kindness is the most important thing of all. The princess often liked to wander in the forest surrounding the kingdom, enjoying being out in the fresh air. On today's walk, she had company, a little fairy with the most beautiful wings you'd ever seen. She lived in a little cottage in the woods, one that the princess had come across years ago. They wandered the forest together, singing and looking for the next interesting thing. They didn't have to walk for very long, as soon they found a tree, the brightest flowers of every colour blooming on it. Immediately, the fairy flew over and picked a bright pink flower from the tree. She marvelled over it and began picking other flowers. Purple, orange, green, blue, every colour you could imagine. The princess, however, didn't do a thing. They felt as if it were a little cruel to pick all the flowers from it. What if they didn't grow again? That would mean that no one ever got to see the tree at its full beauty. She brought this up to the fairy who stopped, thinking about her friend's words. After a few moments, she nodded, and with a wave of her magic wand, the flowers were magically back on the tree. After all, they shouldn't be the only ones who got to see such beauty. After one look at the beautiful, colourful tree, the pair continued on. Without a doubt, they had found their interesting thing for the day, and it was a sight they'd never forget.
Now, remember, you can make your show with your sister or brother or an adult. And you can send a video of your show to your grandma or granddad or any other friends and family. And we'd love to see the puppet shows you guys make too. You can share, share it with us using the links in the description. We hope you have fun creating your puppet show. We'll be back next week with a new series of Puppet Fun for you at home. Have a great weekend and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.